everybody welcome back to jitsu 2000 here today i'm back as you can see i am in the chinook and i'm heading south of winslow didn't want to sit in the house all day didn't want to sit in the house and video edit so i decided i would take the chinook out take my dog and we're gonna have a getaway We're gonna do an overnighter today in the Chinook. This is our first time doing an overnighter in the Chinook. I've chose to go south because there is some rain and I wanna be around the rain. So hope you enjoy this video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's just Blondie and me. Are you ready to go bye-bye? Yeah? <laughs> Are you excited? She doesn't know if she wants to sit up or lay down. So we're starting to get a little bit of light rain here in the southwest. We don't get a lot of rain, so when we do, we really love it. When I was in the military, I was stationed up in Bremerton, Washington, and it used to rain up there all the time. And we got to the point where we didn't want to see rain anymore. We were praying for daylight. But now, you know, being in the southwest again, we pray for rain. Kind of shook up right now. I went for a walk and had Blondie with me. I went up to the Chinook to get this hammock. I was going to put this hammock up. And I come back down. I was gone less than five minutes. And I can't find my dog. So... She's never done that before. She's never like wandered off or anything, but she's an old dog. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe she was trying to follow me and got lost or something. So I am on a mission right now to find my dog. Blondie! <sighs> this is crazy. I left for literally less than five minutes and she was within 30 feet of me when I went up to the Chinook. Oh, thank goodness. Look at, I found my baby. <laughs> she was passed out taking a nap down on the trail down there. I walked past her about a handful of times calling her and I didn't even see her. And then she came up to the picnic table. And there she is, taking a nap. Whew, I'm glad that that's over with. Oh, the joys of much needed R&R. &R. My dog and I are just chilling, enjoying life. Oh, the temperatures out here feel so nice. It's a lot warmer back at home. That's why I wanted to come out where the rain was. I'm down in a place called Little Chevlon or Chevlon's Crossing. As you can see behind me, you know, there's like a, a cliff. So I'm down in the bottom of this canyon. And normally there's a small creek that runs down here. And right now there's no water down there. Zero. There's a little bit of water collection naturally on the rocks because of the rain that they've had out here. But that's about it. So it's kind of frustrating because there's usually a lot of crawdads and stuff that live in the water. And to see it bone dry like it is, it's, it's kind of sad. I just pray for rain here in the southwest. And I'm looking up at the clouds. And it looks like we could see some more weather roll in. And I'm trying to decide right now if I want to sleep in the Chinook tonight. Or if I want to put a tarp over this and sleep in the hammock. So I'm kind of thinking the hammock. <laughs> the whole purpose of buying the Chinook was so that I can live out of the Chinook. 
not in it. It is nice and cool. I went and got my wooby and my pillow and I'm really enjoying it. It is nice and cool, but looks like my dog is over there shivering. <laughs> Look at how she puts her nose under her paw. She hides her face to stay cool or to stay warm. It's about 30 degrees cooler here where we're at. I'd say it's probably in the 70s and it's been in the hundreds. And here's a view that I'm looking at right now. I love this. I'm noticing if you look off at the canyon, you can see the top of the canyon is like a, you can still see the sun out there. And you can see where the sun is going down. It's pretty crazy. This is such a cool place to go. And I'm really enjoying myself out here. My dog is too. She's she's really enjoying it. So my solar panels, as you know, I taped them down. I used um, that two-sided 3M tape to tape them down. And then I used Eternal Bond tape on top of the brackets. And those panels are mounted very solid. I'm really happy with the way that solar panel installation went. Worked very well. Oh, I'm so at peace out here. There's there's nothing better than coming out and getting fresh air, getting away from the rat race of life, whatever's going on in your world. It's always nice to take a little break, take a little breather, just get out and be lazy for a day even though I'm still you know shooting a video and doing some work and I'll be doing some video editing I brought my laptop but even though I'm doing some work out here it's still so nice to get away from the house and to get away from just the norm really enjoying it I think this is probably much needed and a little bit overdue Life is good, I'm so happy. Let's go back to that view. Look at that. That's just fantastic. And this is what I'm looking at underneath my wooby. So nice to be relaxing. I'm very comfortable right now thought I would take a brief second here and talk about action cameras for a second. So the camera that I'm using right now to shoot all of this video, this whole overnighter, is the GoPro Hero 9 Black Edition. And all I'm going to say is this is a fantastic camera. Um, before I got this one, I was really really happy with the GoPro Hero 7 black that thing was fantastic um, before that one I had a 5 it was fantastic and uh, before the 5 I had a Hero 4 black and uh, it was fantastic these GoPro cameras are just amazing cameras and I'm not getting any plug from GoPro or nothing I'm just telling you the truth uh, this Hero 9, though, is the best camera I've ever used as far as action cam. Um, it's just fantastic. The 8, I never got the 8 because I didn't like that they changed the lens. So if you drop the camera and you break that glass on the lens, you're screwed on that one. Um, but when they came out with the 9, they brought that back. The removable, replaceable lenses. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is just the, the stuff that this camera does. It's got a feature called hindsight where when you push the record button, it remembers things like 15 to 30 seconds before you even hit the record button. 
So going to sporting events or like horse races or something like that and you know maybe the horses are coming and if you have hindsight turned on what it's doing is it's recording in a loop so when you hit record it actually goes back it's pretty crazy so that's a amazing feature and the horizon leveling feature that this gopro has is fantastic and the new time warp 3.0 is awesome uh, I'm, I'm just really really happy with this camera and this actually is the first overnighter that i've shot using this camera so it's it's really and the battery life it's got a whole new battery brand new battery completely different battery and the camera is larger than the previous editions it's a whole brand new camera and um it's it's <laughs> They hit a home run is all I'm trying to say. So if you're on the fence on getting a 9 or maybe even wait till Christmas, they might be dropping a 10. I don't know. They seem to kind of like rolling out new cameras. It looks like every Christmas. So maybe they'll drop a 10. But if it's anything like this 9, it's going to be worth getting. They're pricey. They're expensive. But I'm telling you, uh, I mean, you're looking at the footage. I've got the media mod on mine that was like another 80 bucks and then the light that you're seeing it's on low right now but uh, that light was oh what 30 dollars or something but the light is usb-c rechargeable um, the media mod has a port that you can charge the camera through the media mod um, it's got two cold shoes on it it's just fantastic it's a it's a really good camera take a look at that beautiful sunset it's like when I see a sunset, I think of God's painting. You know, that's God's art. It's beautiful. Here in the southwest, we have some of the prettiest sunsets. Okay, let's find out what's for dinner. So let's look in the freezer here. Uh, lasagna, 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 or lasagna. <laughs> so do we want meat lovers or five cheese well i guess we'll go with the five cheese five cheese lasagna that's for supper tonight i'm gonna cook it in the microwave but i gotta turn on the generator so i gotta come back here push this switch there we go how bougie is that I've been used to cooking over campfires. Now I get to push a button and run a microwave. Look at that. Now we can cook our five cheese lasagna <laughs> for supper. Time, six minutes. Power, power's on 10. Okay, six minutes. There we go. So <laughs> I had to learn how to use the microwave. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. That sound that you hear, that's the water pump kicking in every once in a while. Mm. Let's see how this is going to... Mm. Always make sure it's hot in the middle. Five cheese lasagna. That's going to be too hot to bite, I already know that. Smells good. I'm going to enjoy this because it smells fantastic. Now it's on to dinner time and a little bit of video editing. Now this is really nice because on all my other overnighters I was never able to video edit. So this is kind of cool. Well, with the exception of the 10 day, I did some video editing on that one. But this Chinook makes things pretty nice for doing these overnighters. Let's try this lasagna. Mm. Still hot, but man, that's better than rice and beans. I'll tell you that for sure. Got a lot of flavor. I have a two burner cook stove over there that I can cook all kinds of things on. Well, I got a little bit of video editing done. Got that lasagna down. And that was nice. It's, it's nice having an overnighter in a Chinook. I'm not laying under a tarp and i'm getting ready to take a shower so this is cool i'm loving this this is awesome not that i've 
never RV camped before, but after being primitive, you really appreciate these amenities. It's really nice. Wow, that shower felt great. Oh, that water was nice and hot. Felt fantastic. Didn't take long and I was able to set the camera up there for a time warp so it was pretty cool. Still finishing up a little bit of video editing and now I'm gonna get ready for bed. It's uh, oh gosh, almost 10 o'clock at night. I'll tell you what, it's really nice to have my pillow that I have from home. <laughs> Today was such a nice day. Uh, it felt good to get out to see my dog happy, to get out, get some fresh air, take a shower out here, lay in the hammock and look at the clouds move and just breathe fresh air and not have a worry in the world. Today was a fantastic day. I'm so blessed. I give all the glory to God. This bed is so comfortable. It's small, but it's comfortable. Now I can make this bed out into a bed big enough to fit probably three or four people but this couch just for me it's perfect and my dog likes to sleep right under this uh, dinette table it is time for a movie so I've got this movie pack with three movies I'm gonna watch American Sniper I don't get to watch movies when I'm under a tarp or a piece of plastic or going primitive so when I can, I want to enjoy it. It's nice to be able to come out and video edit. It's nice to be able to come out, take a shower, watch a movie, eat food, cook, all that stuff. Yeah, I just love the Chinook. So I'm going to lay down, watch this movie. I love you all. We'll see you in the morning. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Time for a little bit of breakfast. I have a little thermometer inside my refrigerator that tells me the temperature and uh, my refrigerator is 36 degrees. So nice and cool, I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast. Well folks, we're on our way back home now. This trip was a lot of fun. Had a blast. You're probably gonna see more overnighters in the Chinook. This thing was a lot of fun. All the solar that I installed worked very well. That new POA 2000 watt power inverter powered everything I needed it to power. Right now I'm doing 70 miles an hour and I don't hear the solar panels banging around or anything up there so I'm taking it that they're attached pretty well. But this trip was a lot of fun. It felt so good to get out and get out in the rain and, and spend some quality time, just R&R &R time. Oh my gosh, it was fantastic, but the, the battery is up to 100%. Everything worked good, like I said, and I am so happy. This has been a really good trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below, like this video, share this video, and if you guys have any ideas of videos that you want to see on my channel, please drop it in the comment section below or show up on Sunday at 5 o'clock for my live at 5. I go live every Sunday at 5 o'clock Arizona time. So if you guys have questions for me or you want to talk about a certain topic, that's the time and place every Sunday at 5 o'clock Arizona time. So with all that being said, folks, thank you so much again for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.